मनी एवरी डे योर प्रिंस इज बॉर्न As one of Disney's first movies, Bambi was an interesting experiment. It's a lot slower paced than what you'd find in stories today, but I really liked it. One of its major qualities was peacefulness and beauty of wildlife, so the movie holds a soft spot in hearts around the world. However, the original version of the character entered the public domain at the beginning of 2022. Anyone can make any project they want without getting sued by Disney. From the team behind Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. comes a new movie about killing according to the director the film will be an incredibly dark retelling of the 1928 story we all know and love finding inspiration from the design used in Netflix's The Ritual Bambi will be a vicious killing machine that lurks in the wilderness prepare for Bambi on rabies Now because production starts in 2023, there are still a ton of details we don't know. Either way, I'm just going to come out and say it. This is pretty stupid. Winnie the Pooh blood and honey. Okay, why not? But when the same thing is happening with Bambi and he's about to become a killing machine, it's just not creative at all. The only reason these movies exist is to make easy money. You already know Winnie the Pooh and Bambi, so most of the marketing is done, and the creators don't have to spend much to get the name out there. Bambi the Reckoning follows a similar format to Blood and Honey, a childhood character going insane. It sounds fun on the surface until you realize it's been done before many times. The story is dry enough that you can place quite literally any fictional property in the same position, make some small changes, and it would still work. The more audiences support these unnecessary cash grabs, the more we'll see of them. For good or for bad, these kinds of movies will never go away. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.